Hello everyone, it's Steam127. Uh, nobody's partying with me right now for Sloat. So, uh... I guess we'll just... Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I guess we'll just do it ourselves! Uh... Mm, I don't know. I mean... Maybe we can do it? I think we can. I, I don't know. I was kind of saving a uh, power plant for whenever we actually got the Sea God equipment, just to show you how powerful Zata 1 got. So, but uh, I mean, whatever. Yeah, we can just, uh, we, we can try it out ourselves, see what happens. I do slot every day so I can get the free Ancient Dungeons ticket. Alright, let's see what we can do. First floor should be easy because, uh, S SFC Douglas is with us, so that shouldn't be that bad. I'm gonna try and refrain from using the assist pretty much the entire time. I'm gonna see if we don't need to do that. I might need Steam Boy's help on, uh, on, on not Furman, uh, Red Flame Hexos. I might need him on that guy, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, doesn't. Damn, she's doing good. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna do full on second, because if I do that, I'm probably just gonna- I'm not gonna die, per se, but I think it'll wear Zato one down enough that he might not be able to win. We'll do the bare minimum for dailies instead, so we'll skip some of the rooms that have just tons of enemies. Because who knows, Zato one might actually run out of MP. You might not think he run- like Zato would run out of MP, but uh... When you're faced with bosses or just lots of overwhelming odds, you can see the MP going down. He's not—he's not—he's not he's not he's not, a, he's not a mana fountain. He's got—he's got a tank, and it does get empty eventually. So we'll see if we can just avoid over uh, overworking Zato One. I'll probably do another video of Sloat uh, along with the rest of Power Plant on its own once Zato One is fully upgraded, but. Since no one wants to party with me, and rightfully so, they sh really are, they're, they're doing me a favor by partying with me, and nobody wants to do any favors right now. Um, yeah, that, I mean, hey, whatever. Sometimes you gotta do it yourself. I mean, today I think I'm gonna have to do a ghost train by myself, because my buddy, first of all, he doesn't have as many, he doesn't have a ton of tickets. <sighs> Second of all, I mean, I can't expect him to help me all the time for a hundred and, how many days now? 111 days? I actually got, uh, before I even forget, hold on, I actually got a bunch of cures. I think I have, I got four so far from the event pouches out of 50 of rolling my eyes there, but that's four days, that is four days uh, saved from having to do Ghost Train, which is awesome. I, uh, my only regret is that with the upcoming Ancients uh, revamp, all the Ancient Dungeons are going to be level 85, which does not really, I'm not happy about that at all, because honestly, um, honestly, that just it's it's just gonna be that much harder for my perma perma character just to do that. So I don't know. I might have to get relegated to doing uh, easy mode or like God forbid easy mode. But maybe maybe we'll do medium. I hope we can do medium. Uh, using Gore Cross, I can bleed these guys to death. It doesn't seem like they want to do it. I should have casted Bremen. Alright, thank you. Thank you, SF SFC Douglas. Alright, now that we have a room where we can actually cast circles and not have to move around too much, let's do this. Samuel, his most powerful move is that. Reciting Magma. Thankfully, SFC Douglas is probably better than almost... is, is better than pretty much any APC you can create in a doll. She's just that good. No idea why she's that good, but nah, it's whatever. And another reciting magma. Let's do core cross, and there we go. Thank you, SF SFC Douglas. You carried the character in this dungeon, as opposed to the opposite, which is what usually happens. So that's the first stage. Let's see if we can do the second stage. More importantly, the third stage. Third stage is going to be hell, but uh, we'll see about that. Like I said, we're trying not to use the assist here. Uh, obviously, I probably should be, but we're not going to. We're going to see if Zato one can do it on his own hand, not with borrowed power, even though I have a draw sword there. What I'm worried about in Sloat is whether or not Zato one can actually kill Hexos before he uh, gets. we get to the top of the tower and just get consumed by fire. I'm really hoping that we don't uh, 
have to do that because uh, that would mean it's in death no matter no matter how no matter what happens yeah, these guys are uh, pretty strong all right let's go to the top cast circles oh no that's a that's a that's a bad thing to happen if they all mobbed me at once like that I would be dead Chills is coming way through though. I can't believe I'm actually putting a dent in these guys. Of course, we have to realize that the special dungeons will always be on hard difficulty, not ults. So, in a way, a slow t is easier than the slow is easier than the uh, normal power station dungeons. In a way, there there are obviously gimmicks to every special dungeon, which make them more difficult. But hey, whatever. I don't think anyone's ever said that a special dungeon was particularly difficult, so I guess we could go by that. <sighs> Give me your blood. Also, I had no idea that every, like, some 255 int or strength increases, like, doubles the base damage of your moves. That's insane. I didn't know that. I always play percent classes, so that doesn't really matter to me, but now that I'm playing Permaslayers, I have to squeeze out all the damage I can get, and that's actually pretty cool hearing that. All right, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Magma Tarantulas. Now, these guys. Oh, God. Yeah, this this can happen. That, that can happen. I don't want that to happen. Good thing is, they are all susceptible to the power of thrust. Good job, Zata 1. The power station enemies aren't that difficult either, to be honest. It's just that the granites here have an anti-cube. Uh, have anti-cube. Uh, what do you call it? Anti-cube what? Mechanics? Stipulations? What do... What is that word that robots say? When they have to deploy something during a certain situation. Countermeasures! There we go. Anti-cube countermeasures. So, I mean, there's that. Does not like it really matters for Zata 1. Alright, we're gonna avoid that roar. And we're gonna take this one at a time. Like chess. Very slow, very cautiously. I was watching a lot of, uh... I never told you the actual fighter that inspired me to do this. His name is Soshin. His, uh, his channel is still active. He still plays games, he's just not playing DFO anymore. Okay, hold on. One, two... God, Bleed doing 300 damage per tick is a freaking joke! Why does this skill even do bleed? It's just there for the sake of bloodlust. Right, so it does last a while. Oh, I thought I dodged that. That thing has way higher range than I think it does. Hup! Yep! Yep! Ancient memory. Gosh darn it! this. Whew. Get up, Zata 1. Okay, you did it. First, okay, that's the first sub-boss of this floor. There's gonna be the clones, whatchamacallit, whatchamahoosit, uh, pit, cloned pit. Whew, this is taking a while. Now, you, you can probably see why I ask for help on these things. Alright, here we go. Cloned Pit. He is grabbable, just like his boss counterpart. Huh. Ow, ow. Every time you kill his guards, he summon, takes time to summon new ones. Maybe you can maybe you can strategize. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, Zata 1, we're gonna need to pop some potions and maybe grab that, because that's a full heal. Hey, Dreyfus. Duran, Dreyfus. I don't know what, like, who is it? If it's if it's really Reaper Dur Duran, then I haven't ever heard of Duran in, in any any dialogue of time. I don't know what he's talking about. Like, who is this Duran? I'm, it, I'm pretty sure it's Dreyfus in his new body. So yeah, 
Okay, this is getting a little annoying, but we're we're gonna stick by our stipulation. Ugh. Cast that. Ow. And to think that this guy's on fire and he's weak to my element. Oh. Knocking him down only does that. Oh, thank god. I just need a moment where I can just ram his ass into the wall. Just stick a giant wrench inside of it. That fire sphere is... Balls! Okay. I hate those. I hate homing attacks so much. I hate, I hate Frosty's head in PvP as well, but that's a different story. I hate the fire, didn't I? Uh, popping potions is the life. Oh. Funny thing is, I think Patrice is easier than this than cloned Pit, but that's just my opinion. At least, like Patrice. Oh, we're so close to killing you! Please die. Okay, we got him. We got him, boys. Now we get a cooldown thing, but I mean, who cares? Because Delta One doesn't have any cooldowns for anything in the grand scheme of things. Worth resetting. Talk about min-maxing. Zalta 1 is there for your specific needs. If you need a certain thing taken out, he's got you. If you need a lot of things at once, don't don't ask Zalta 1 for help. He's not going to be able to do it. Okay, give me some strength. That'll help. Go slash. Honestly, maybe I should be casting Kazan in every encounter I have. Not sure if I should or shouldn't. Okay, there it goes. Alright. One more room. And as you can see, I was kind of right about having to uh, not do every single room. Because if you look at it now, Zata 1. Maybe the mana. Okay, the mana's fine. The mana's fine. The, the MP is good. We're okay. But the HP... Yeah, I definitely, I don't know, I definitely might have died if I had to do a few more rooms. And I did have to use a potion to begin with. If I remember... Ah, oh, there's that, yeah, there's, there's electric shock. Which I have to dodge. Good thing is, Patrice will be stunned during this duration. And now he's got himself in a corner, so I can just rock his world. Yeah, see, Patrice has less HP than cloned Pit. I don't really understand it. Is it because Pit is an optional enemy? Go slash. Hey, look, he's just kind of sitting there. That's all he's doing. That's it. Now, there you go. We got him. Like, see how much easier Pit uh, Patrice was than Pit? And, I mean, technically, uh, I I mean, I jammed him into a corner, but it's just same. Anyway, I mean, whatever. That's my usual experience with them anyway, so I stand by what I said. Whew, okay. One last floor. The shortest floor, but perhaps the longest room. <sighs> Here we go. For free, please. Excuse me? Jitsu boxing. For free. What, what, are, you, what, are, you, what are you doing? You don't, you don't ask for free stuff in DFO. What are you talking about? Everything has a price in MMOs. Can't just ask for thinking for real. What are you talking about? Although I would probably be one of those people who would indeed give something for free. But not that. That that's that's worth too much. Okay, here we go. This is the room with the clone Furman, Stalking Planet, and Great Granite. Are granites uh a pun based on the actual mineral granite. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, oh, that wasn't even aimed at me. Okay, we gotta kill the mooks. All of the mooks. All of them must die. Furman, don't you dare. I, I just triple slashed out of Furman's uh, tornado plasma attack. Okay, almost got them all. Freaking crystals draining all of my mana. This knockback aura. 
Complete BS. Now we gotta fight you guys. Get out of town. Ugh! Not looking good. I have to use a sacred blessing. I really don't want to. I did though. I used a sacred blessing. Oh no 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 no! Not that! Don't shatter time. Okay okay we're fine. I don't know how you dodge that attack, but I think you just look away from him. Uh, rest in peace, my MP. It's getting okay. Now we can face Furman. Smile, you son of a bitch. Okay, 11 bars. Shouldn't be too hard. His stupid- he keeps summoning these stupid- Ah! <laughs> I think he just punched me. I didn't even see him charging that. He just punched me. I don't want him to summon any more magma slimes. That would be just awful. There's that, yeah. Rise. Watch out for the crystals. One, two, three. I still couldn't dodge it. Okay. That's kind of... That's, I should probably just leap that. Ugh. That'll kill me if it hits me again. Guard. Ow. Ow. Leap. Hup. You son of a gun. I didn't... That's... That's not how that works. You can't do that. You can't warp into the air, you're going into the- you're going- you go underground! Oh, you're finally dead! Oh, thanks for summoning all these stupid slimes for me to fight. Okay... Ugh, stop hitting me. That was exhausting, mentally and physically. Okay. Here we are. This room should be pretty easy, but you never know. You never... Okay, there we go. Circles. Dodge all the needles. Because there's five needles for everything you... For every needle you see, there's actually five. So touching those needles would probably kill you. There goes some of the octopi. And there go the squids, and then boom boom boom, the rotted generator is the last thing you need to kill. Okay, here we go, the true test. Unfortunately, the lava just kind of catches up to you if you go too far, it's got some rubber banding around it, which is BS. Uh, so we're going to try using Gorecross, Neutral Wave Sword, and Ghost Slash as ways to do damage to Hexos. I am not going to be able to do this in time, am I? I'm- oh, oh, okay. Thrust might work. Provided Furman doesn't- uh, Hexos doesn't actually kill us first. He might kill us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I guess there goes that video. Alright. Steambot. Thank you. Steamboy will take out about a, about one bar per uh, call, so that's enough. Probably enough, I think, for us to get to the top without actually dying. Here, here comes the lava again. Ugh. Ugh. Exos, you are a bully. Also, why do you move so fast, Exos? That's not fair. Okay, one more. Thank you, Steamboy. Four bars left. That was a nice. I think he crit. Oh, Duran, you're gonna die. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Another one. Thank you, Steam Boy. Oh, we've almost hit the top. We're gonna die. I mean, we need to do some damage now. Okay, we're gonna have to make sure. We're gonna have to keep the. We're gonna have to go a little slower to keep the lava from rubber banding. Oh, okay. So I needed a blessing and a token, so technically I needed two tokens. I'm considering trashing this video, but I think I'll keep it. I'll keep it just for the sake of basis of comparison for the future in half a year. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys had a good time watching. Because I didn't have a good time playing. I really wish somebody would just 
you know, join the party and help me out, but uh, I guess that can't happen. See you next time.